Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going back to the basics and we're going to be looking at some things dealing with layer properties. Specifically in this video, I'm going to show you how to change objects in your drawing to different layer properties very quickly and easily. This is pretty basic. This is not going to be a long video. It's not intended to be a long video. We are just going to go over this portion of layer properties. There are also a bunch of other things that are involved within the layer properties function. We're not going to be looking at those today. We are just going to be focusing on how to move objects from one layer to another. So with that being said, let's get into it. Real quick, before we get into the video, please consider subscribing below. It gives me a good idea of how the content's doing, if you guys like it, if you don't like it. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you think someone else you know would benefit from seeing this video, please feel free to share it. And if you want to see something else done on AutoCAD, leave it in the comments section below. All right, so let's get started. And the first thing I want to do is we want to see what we have in the drawing and what layers they are in. So to do that, we're going to come up to the layers property and I've pre-made this already. So we have some circles, some squares, some triangles in here, and we're going to come up here to the layers and we're going to drop it down. Now, when I drop it down, you're going to see circle, square, triangle, and zero. So Everything that I want to put in the circles, I can put in the circle layer. I have a layer for squares and I have a layer for triangles, all the three shapes here. Now, with that being said, we're going to go here and we are going to find out what is in the layers by turning them on and off. So to turn the layers on and off, you're going to want to hit this light bulb button. We're going to turn the circle layer off. We're going to turn the square layer off and then the triangle layer. And as you can see here, once I turn them off, I only have three shapes left over. Those shapes right now are in the zero layer. They are not in the circle, triangle, or square layer. So our job or our goal here is to put those in their correct layers. And to do this, what you're going to do is really, it's, it's very simple. You're going to select your object that you want in the layer. So for the triangle, we'll do that one first. We're going to select the object. And then we are going to come here, drop down the thing, and put it to the triangle. We're just going to click on triangle. It's going to ask you one or more objects has been moved to a frozen layer, turned off layer, because the layer is turned off. We're going to close that. And then as you can see, the triangle disappeared. Now, when I come here, I click on the triangle and turn it on. All four triangles are now in the layer. There's not one that's missing. So we're going to do the same thing here, too, with the circles. I'm going to grab the circle. I'm going to come up here because it's in layer zero right now. I'm going to click on the circle layer. It's going to give me the same error message. It's not really an error. It's more of a heads up message. We're going to close it. And then I'm going to do the same here too for the square. We're going to move it to the square layer. We're going to close that. And now we're going to turn the layers all back on. And as you can see here, all of the objects are now in the layers we want them to be. So basically what we did is we said this object belongs in this layer, but it's not there. Again, super simple task. You just select the object, drop down the layers, and put it where you want to. And now all of the layers have the correct objects associated with them. All right, so one last thing real quick before we finish up is I want to go over a little bit of a troubleshooting thing with locked layers. So right here, we have two layers that are locked. You're going to have this one, and it shows the little lock sign. And you're going to have the circle one, which also shows the little lock sign. The triangle layers are not locked. So if I want to, say, move something from this layer, this circle, I cannot move it over to the square layer because that circle layer is locked. So if you want to keep things in a layer and you don't want them moved, you, may, you want to make sure that the layer is, itself is locked. So to do that, all you have to do is come to this little thing, and you can either lock it or unlock it. But what that allows you to do is to keep everything grouped in as a layer. Now, with that being said, you can actually move things in to locked layers. You just can't move them out. So, for example, we're going to move this circle into layer 0. And then we are going to take the rest of the circle layer and lock it. So, all three of these circles right here are locked. This circle is not. But I want it to be thrown in the locked layer. So, we are going to take that circle. And we are going to come up here to the layer function and put it in the circle layer. As you can see, it is now in the locked layer. It cannot be removed until that layer is unlocked. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. 
Hopefully it was short and sweet. Hopefully it got the point across and hopefully you were able to take away something from this lesson video. Again, not a very long one. I will go into a longer layer properties tutorial at some point, but for right now, this is one of those things that can be really confusing, but really isn't that difficult to understand once you know how to do it. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a good rest of their day.